Hey guys, welcome to Porter's two month update. I have Porter here with me. Say hi, Porter. He's getting so big and so chunky, you guys. So let me tell you a little bit about what this past month has been. Porter is now over 13 pounds. I believe he's 13 pounds and six ounces or eight ounces, somewhere around there. So he's in like the 71st percentile for weight and his height he is 23 and a quarter inches tall, which is again in like the 70th percentile for height. So he's going to be huge <laughs> when he um, grows up. He's going to be very tall, I think, just like Grayson. His head circumference, I can't really remember what the um, measurement was, but it was as well in the 71st, 72nd percentile. So he is um, doing well on all the charts. Um, we did go and have his two-month-old doctor's appointment um, a couple days ago, and he got two shots and a uh, vaccine that was like in liquid form that he had to drink, and he did not like either shot. He cried, which is to be expected, and then also um, the liquid that he drank, he ended up puking it all up, <laughs> all over the nurse, too. So that wasn't the best, but other than that, they say that he is looking really well. We had concerns about his head shape at his one month appointment, um, but it's looking much better at his two month appointment. So no more worries there um, that we are really concerned about. Porter has had a couple big milestones this past month that only, you know, being two months old, he can roll from um, belly to back However, he's only done it a handful of times. He's only done it three times so far, and the last time has been in October. Uh, so it was a couple weeks ago. And so I'm not sure if those three times were just flukes, or if he just did it three times and he's like, I've mastered it, I'm gonna move on to something new. I'm not quite sure, but he did do it, and I did catch it on camera, so I'll input that video here. We're so proud of him. Another huge milestone that Porter has done this month is he has slept through the night, which is wild because Grayson didn't sleep through the night until he was six months old. And here is Porter doing it at one month old. Um, he slept from uh, seven, or no, it was 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. And he's been doing that actually pretty consistently. Um, here and there he'll wake up maybe at five or, or in the morning for a feed. But other than that, he usually sleeps through the night, which is amazing. Porter does not enjoy tummy time. The first month of his life, he loved it, and he, we put him on his belly, and he would just talk and coo and loved it. But uh, ever since he turned a month old, he started hating tummy time. And so now anytime we put him on tummy time, he hates it. He cries, he screams, he barely does the three minutes that I want him to do. Um, so hopefully that gets better, but he does not like being on his belly. Porter really doesn't like laying down either. He really just wants to be held and in an upright position so he can look out and see everything, which I guess I don't blame him. I wouldn't want to look at the ceiling all day every day. Last month was really, really hard. Um, his first month of life, he was just fussy. And I don't know if that was just a developmental leap that he was going through because supposedly he was going through his second developmental leap, which is the leap of patterns. And so I don't know if that was just really hard on him. Um, if you want to know more about leaps, go check out The Wonder Weeks. It's an app and a book. So I don't know if that was it, but his first month of life, he just wanted to be held all the time. I couldn't put him down, otherwise he would be screaming, and even sometimes holding him, he wouldn't be happy, and he was just sad a lot. And so it was really, really tough, especially having a toddler who is running around my house crazy, trying to take care of him, so I have to put Porter down, then Porter cries, so then I go help Grayson, and then I go pick up Porter, and then Grayson starts crying because he wants attention from me. So it's been really, really difficult. This past month has been so much better. 
Porter has um, been more happy, not as sad. Porter has let me put him down at times. Um, the swing that we have is kind of off and on, kind of depends on the day. Sometimes Porter is happy to be in the swing and he will even nap in the swing. Other times I put him in and about two seconds later he's screaming crying. So it really kind of depends, but um, he's done much better. I've been able to put him down and he's just been happier. Um, he still has his witching hour from like 6 to 9. Um, we do keep him up from 7 to 9 still at night to keep him um, on a schedule and he does not like staying up from 7 to 9. He would rather sleep. So evenings are pretty rough with him. Um, yeah, thankfully I put Grayson to bed at 7 and then um, I, that's Grayson in the background. <laughs> um, but thankfully he has gotten better. It's just that in the evening still he's not the best but once nine o'clock hits it's like his body knows and I swallow him I uh, nurse him a little bit and then he just goes right to sleep and it's awesome so he's been doing really really well naps have been really really hard for him he only wants to be held when he naps um, I've been trying to put him in the bassinet or in the crib and it's not been doing very well and so um, we've just been struggling on naps. Sometimes he goes and I swear he only takes like five minute naps here or there. So that's been really, really difficult and I think he's grumpy because of the like lack of naps as well. So hopefully next month we get better at that. Porter is starting to enjoy um, bath time a little bit more instead of screaming. He just kind of like looks around while I give him baths and like confused like what's going on but he doesn't like hate it. So I think he's just tolerating it. Um, I only give him a bath about once a week just because it always dries out his skin really bad whenever I do give him baths, so um, we only do it about once a week, but he is seeming to tolerate it a little bit. He hates, hates, hates being in his car seat. Absolutely hates it. Um, he cries all the time, which is so crazy to me because Grayson loved being in the car seat. We try to limit going out as much as possible because he really does not like sitting in his car seat, which is too bad, but that's just how he is, I guess. Hopefully he outgrows it. Porter loves watching Big Brother Grayson play and just walk around and do all the crazy stuff he does. Um, he is trying to coo and he smiles at Grayson all the time. Of course, Grayson still doesn't really give Porter the time of day, doesn't really care too much about Porter but Porter is all about Grayson. He also gives, I think, his biggest smiles and cues to me whenever he sees me. Um, he's also very into Anthony, he knows his voice, and so he loves just tracking Anthony as he walks around. But yes, big brother Grayson is Porter's favorite. Porter is smiling more and more each day, and he is also um, cooing and talking a lot more. Um, he definitely smiles way more than he talks. He's more of a quiet guy, I think. Not as talkative, but he definitely smiles a ton. Especially if he's in a good mood, he would just smile, smile, smile. This past month, we celebrated Anthony's birthday. Um, we celebrated Porter's first Halloween, so I'll put a picture there of that. First trip to the pumpkin patch, so I'll input maybe like a video here of us at the pumpkin patch. We're here at the pumpkin patch. There's Grayson and my brother. Allison's taking pictures of Dakota. Lots of pumpkins. Mom's taking pictures of Berkeley. We're trying to find the perfect pumpkin. Grayson's counting pumpkins. Five. Six, seven, it's kind of picked eight. over. There's not very many left. Ready? We'll make Berkeley. it work. No. Oh, Berkeley, you're supposed to be a model. Okay. We gotta find our pumpkins. Eleven, twelve. 13, Mom, 14. That's a good question. That's how I did get Dakota. And there's Porter. Purple, you want pink? He's a footport. Hello, cutie. Yes. Sweetie. First time at the pumpkin patch. He does not care. He's just sleeping it all away. Berkeley, are you going to smile? It was not very good. Oh, did she, did she pose? No. One, two, three. 
Um, first big road trip, we went to Toledo for the first time, and thankfully he actually did pretty well on that car ride and slept most of the time, but um, since then he has not done well in the car seat. <laughs> we also had Porter's first airplane ride this past month, so I'll input a photo of that. He loved the airplane, just slept the whole time. It was like white noise and the vibration. I think it just put him right to sleep. And so he loved the airplane. Porter, like I said, he loves being sat up. He's doing way better on his neck control, as you can see. Um, and he likes being walked around, seeing all of the different parts of our house. Um, he does not like sitting in one position very long. He gets tired of people's faces um, <laughs> easily, and so it's a lot of changing scenery for him. But we love little Porter. He is just blooming and developing, and he's doing really great. So I'll input some videos and pictures here of the past month and of his little two-month photo shoot that we did, and I'll see you guys um, in a month for his three-month update. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. Porter! Bye. Say bye!